Hey, this is Matthew Herber, the senior editor covering biotech at Forbes. And I'm just going to talk a little bit today about Regeneron Pharmaceuticals and their drug Ilia, or VEGF Trap, as we've been calling it for years. This is a drug that is going before an FDA advisory panel tomorrow, Friday, and uh, is going to have uh, the documents for that panel have posted. And those documents look pretty good. There's even a draft of what the product labeling for the medicine might look like. Uh, all of which is good news and investors have bid up shares 8 or 9%. And I just thought this was a good t chance to talk about why I think this is a drug and is going to be a good drug and could do well for Regeneron. Now, it's really a me too in a way. It's being dosed mainly on, being pushed mainly on convenience. But convenience is a big deal here. Drugs for macular degeneration have to be injected into the eye. And they require people who often have trouble driving because they have eye problems and are often old, to uh, to come into the doctor regularly. So this is a drug that would be given half as often as Lucentis, which is the current approved standard. Uh, the big controversy here, I think, is doctors have been using Avastin, which is similar to Lucentis and also made by Roche Genentech and much cheaper on a per-dose uh, basis in eye disease. Uh, doctors have been using Avastin instead of Lucentis. And there was an NIH trial that seemed, or a lot of people covered it as saying that they were equivalent. Now, I think that's a misread of that trial. This is the CAT trial. Um, because the Avastin given as needed seemed to be not nearly as good as Lucentis dosed monthly as it's used in the label. I think a drug that really can be given once every two months has a big advantage here. And uh, I think eye doctors will use it. You have to remember Lucentis, even though Avastin actually has most of the market share, Lucentis is a drug that uh, is a blockbuster. This could do very well for Regeneron, depending on how they price it. And uh, so far, so good. The Purdue date is August 20th. This is a drug to watch. I think the question, if you're an investor, is how much this is baked into the stock and uh, you know, how fairly is Regeneron valued. They've got some other interesting programs. They've got a great cholesterol project on a target called PCSK9, which I think is absolutely fascinating. But we're going to have to wait and see, I guess, on how well the stock does. Still, this is a pretty compelling drug, and it's going to be an interesting, although maybe from investors' perspective, not too interesting panel tomorrow. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again soon.